I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from the book Nelson Grade 12 Advanced Functions. It is page 243, chapter 4. Now this question is a very important question. It has been there in the test and normally discussed in assignments. But students really find it very difficult to answer and that's the whole idea why I have a part of it here to discuss. Now there are many sections to this question but the main part is to find the polynomial equation which can represent the data and that is a part which I'll do in this particular video. A part of the question is the following table shows the bird's height above the water as given by an observer. Determine an equation to model the data. At different times, we have height of the bird 0, 7, 2, 10, 4, 5, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, 3. Now, amongst uh, so many different parts of this question, which are all very critical, one of them is to sketch a graph from the data. So, let me do a rough sketch here, which will help us to find the equation and solve the rest of the questions. Now my sketch is not going to be to the scale. Reason is very simple. I am only giving you a kind of solution making you understand what the things are. Accuracy is all dependent on you. Take a graph paper and plot accurate graph. Now here on horizontal scale we have time in seconds and on the vertical scale we have height in meters right so we'll say h of t and it is in meters at 0 it is 7 so let's begin from some value so bird takes up a flight so it goes up and then plunges down and then comes up so what I'll do is I'll just draw a part of the graph here and I say it goes like this and then like this so that is the kind of graph which represents the data and of course I'm not taking any scale. Important point for me is these two critical values. Zeros at 6 and 7. So 6 seconds and 7 seconds we have zeros. Now these zeros will help us to find the equation of the polynomial. Another critical point is the y-intercept and we can consider one more point. So I'll prefer to use 4 and 5 which is let us say here okay so we'll use these three points this point for us is four and five and we have two zeros now taking these three points what we are assuming here is a polynomial degree three that is cubic function to start with right so we are modeling this situation with a cubic function. So we say height h of t is a times. We know two factors. We don't know one. There could be one more, right? It seems there is one. So let us think like this. Do you see that? Do you see that? This point, right? So that makes it cubic, correct? We don't know that. So we'll say x minus b times x minus we know these two that's fortunate 6 and x minus 7 otherwise this would have been held right even now it's a difficult question now we can say let this be the polynomial representing the data given to us okay now to find the two variables a and b we'll use the y-intercept which at x equals to 0 we have 7 and this point 4 and 5 correct let me highlight the points which we are going to use this one and this one let me call these points as a and b okay so this is my point a and this is my point b i've already used these two intercepts correct substituting a that is x value zero so we have height at t equals to zero so if i write zero here i get a times minus b 0 minus b is minus b and that gives me 0 minus 6 0 minus 7 
and all this is equal to 7. Got it? That's how I get my equation. And 3 negatives will give me a negative. So I get negative a of b is equals to 7 divided by, I am dividing by 6 times 7. Is it okay? And that is 1 over 6. So I am calling this to be my, let that be the original equation. Let me say 1, 2. Okay, so I know product of a and b, negative product of a, b, let it be. I could have made negative here anyway, is 1 over 6. Now I'll substitute the second point, 4 and 5. So height at t equals to 4 is 5. So let me substitute 4 here. a times 4 minus b times 4 minus 6 times 4 minus 7. Okay, let me write this time here. So at 4, the height is 5. So I have 5 equals to a times 4 minus b. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. 4 minus 7 is minus 3. So what I get here is, I get a times 4 minus b as equals to, 3 times 2 is 6, 5 divided by 6. Okay, I get 5 divided by 6. Okay, so that means I get two equations, right? So let me call this as equation number 3. I have very limited space, I want to finish it at this line and that's the reason why I haven't taken another parts in this particular video well I can make another videos for you to answer the rest of the equations but in any case now we have two different equations which can help us solve so let me write both equations together which one I should write minus a b as one sixth okay so there are so many ways to now solve it so we have minus a b equals to 1 over 6. So we got these two equations here, right? With the help of these two equations, we can solve and find both a and b, right? So equation number 2 and equation number 3. If I divide one by the other, right? So if I divide one by the other, what do I get? Do you see that? So if I divide one by the other, I get 5 over 6 or what I can do is I can substitute 1 over 6 as minus a b so it's 5 times 1 over 6 I'll do that so so let me go from these two equations on this side okay I hope that will work sorry for all this mess but I think it will really help you so I'm using 1 over 6 as minus a b so I'm writing 5 times minus a b okay no harm equals to a times 4 minus b. So a and a cancels, right? We'll solve for b now. So we have minus 5b equals to 4 minus b. You could divide one equation by the other, get rid of a. That is another way. But I kind of saw it, so no problems. So we can bring b to this side. So what do we get? So if I bring b to, so minus 5b plus b equals to 4 or minus 4b equals to 4, that gives us b equals to 4 divided by minus 4 equals to minus 1. Good job. So b is minus 1. Okay, further. Now we know b is minus 1. Let me use another color. Let me use black itself. b equals to minus 1. And we already know minus AB is 1 over 6, so I'll use this equation. So I say, I'll put B as minus 1 here. So I have 1 over 6 equals to minus A times minus 1. And that gives me A value as 1 over 6. Do you get that? So A is 1 over 6 for me. So I got both the values. Since a is 1 over 6, I can write down my solution. So my solution is, let me write down right here now. Okay. So final answer, the polynomial is h of t equals to a is 1 over 6, 1 over 6, times x minus, b is minus 1, so x plus 1, 
times x minus 6 times x minus 7. So that is the polynomial equation we are looking for. Now once you know this equation, let me just push this page slightly more forward so it's absolutely clear, right? We can do rest of the parts. Now let me read those parts for you. So according to your model, how long was the osprey underwater? Well, it is 6 to 7, but we can find from here also. And according to your model, when was the osprey more than 6 meters above the water? So greater than 6, we can solve with this. And likewise, there are so many other questions. But all can be solved using this equation now. So the critical part here is to use three points from the given data and get the polynomial equation. So let's get back to what we did. So we had the data which clearly gave us two x-intercepts. These helped to form equation in the factored form. We assumed one as b and solved for two variables using two more points. y-intercept is always a good point and a point close by. You could select any and then get your equation. So like we did, you can actually solve such questions. I hope this really helps you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about similar topics. Thank you and all the best.